Well, I am uh, on my way home. I, uh, I, uh, we trained five horses at the track today, getting them ready for next week, getting them ready to qualify. I know everybody keeps saying, where's this horse or where's that horse? And I feel bad. You know, I know, uh, I know you guys want, um, you know, you just want to know how the horses are going and when they're going to be ready to go. And, and, uh, I certainly want to give you that information, but in some cases, maybe I'm misinformed. Um, case in point would be, uh, Maxwell Plum. Now, Maxwell Plum, uh, somebody had kindly pointed out that I said two weeks and that was November 9th and it's now January 10th. So, uh, he did train at 2-4 today. He's ready to school next week. So he literally is just under two weeks away from being able to go uh, Sunshine Inn. Trained in 2-3 or 2-4. Looked good. Muscle through it. Trained in 2-3 uh, flat. Uh, who else? We had Autumn Wings. You know, and I'll be honest with you. Autumn Wings did not train good. Didn't train good at all. I know Johnny Shoe is going to be out there pulling his hair out. Same as I am right now. Metaphorically going back to the house. But... Um, you know, there was some, some things we can change. I think her hobbles were a little bit long. Her feet bother her. She's got a normal set of full sweat shoes on. So there's things that we can do to uh, to help Autumn Wings out. But the frustrating part was she trained in 2-5, but just 2-5. Just when it wasn't that she was weak or done. We had nothing to do with power. Had everything to do with, and, and Johnny will know exactly what I'm talking about. And, and you will too if you own a piece of her. Just what we saw last year. Not as bad maybe as we saw on qualifying day where she was scrambling and all over the track. But uncomfortable. So um, we will try and get that uh, cleared up uh, as quickly as we can. She will not be schooling this week. She'll be training. Probably take her over to train at Mohawk before the qualifiers. I'd like to go a mile and 2-2 after the changes. See how she feels. That would be good. Uh, but we'll see. Uh, what else? Such any train good. Maxwell Plum train good. Oh, Curious Winner train great. We had made some shoeing changes on Curious Winner. I had said uh, equipment and shoeing changes. I told you why his line looked so terrible that the hobbles were on tight and he had a lot of weight on, and I felt that he needed that to trot. Uh, we took a lot of the weight off him and let his hobbles out today. A little sketchy starting out, but really, really well, and finished up really strong. So I was very happy with what I saw from Curious Winner. Um, just a bad week all around because they screwed the track up. And, and sometimes, you know, I want to blame people and it's not their fault. It's Mother Nature. Mother Nature played a significant role into the track. Can't, uh, Tomiko Training Center being in terrible shape all week. Um, I think the guys missed the weather a little bit, misjudged the weather, went on the track. So it was a combination, a culmination of things, a, a perfect storm. The great uh, the, the conditioner that they worked the track with broke. So farm manager did a great job. He went and got got it, went to get, sent it out to get it fixed and, and borrowed a loaner. Now the loaner was set too low. So sure enough, first day he goes to go on the track and it's just around freezing and it, I'm sure to him and maybe to me too, I'll say that wasn't his fault, but he thought the track was freezing, it wasn't quite there yet, and he dug into mud. And then he got a flat tire on the track. So what do you think happened? It looked like we had a tractor pull on the track uh, the night before we went to train. Come to the track the next day. It, and if you, if I said, listen, I will give you $100 if you can make that track in the worst possible condition you can make it in with just a tractor and a truck in one evening, I will give you $100. They would have earned their $100 because the track was just about in as bad a shape as it can possibly be. Horrible, horrible shape. So uh, we spent three days trying to get it cleaned up. We could jog on it, no speed whatsoever. Um, and in fact, there was a little bit of heat in Lima sun lag, so I said, absolutely not qualifying him this week. We had him checked, took him to the clinic immediately. Nothing wrong, little bruise maybe bouncing around his stall because he had a couple of days off, bruised his leg, and anyway, it's not a big deal, uh, but it will be completely 100% before we qualify him, so he's going to end up with another week, which is fine, we waited all this time, let's do it right, I think the consensus from myself and my partners on Lima's son was the same, take your time, because he's only going to, he's only going to re-injure himself once, and that's it, he's done, so, um, so that was Lima, that was the track, so I had a gentleman, I called around everywhere, and finally found somebody with a grader, that big machine that they 
the big yellow machine that they uh, groom the uh, side of the roads with, you know, the integrator, um, came in and cleaned all the track up, did a great job on the track, it looked good today, now Monday morning they're coming to put four tons of stone on the track, uh, which is fantastic also, probably a little late for the party, but nevertheless, uh, it will look fantastic, so we didn't get a lot done this week, today was the first day I could really push push the horses, and I did, I pushed some of them, not crazy hard, Nancy Allison had a fantastic training mile, I didn't train many today, we maybe only trained 10 horses today, but they trained so good under the drone the last time, not a big deal if they got a week here and there, as long as they can continue to work, so jogged them today, turned them, brushed them a little bit, it was a very good day in that regard, the track was in good shape today, so I uh, trained Nancy Allison, she trained great, uh, just with what I went with. I trained Nancy Allison, I trained um, Pine Creek, coming along good, she was very good today, finally got a good mile in her, trainer 244, um, with the hobbles on, as I said, still got to polish and polish and polish, you will see her, next time she drones, you'll see a different Pine Creek, uh, very happy with her, who else did I go with, um, Enduring Strength, trained very good, now, uh, I've been leading up to this and inching away and inching away. Enduring Strength will be gelded. He will be gelded within the next uh, month, let's say. I won't geld him before his next training session um, because I think he's more than willing and able to work. But I still see that Angus Hall voice in his head training him today. He was looking at the gate. He was looking to act up and he was looking to make mistakes. He went back to the barn tired, but uh, trained well. And, um, you know, I know there's... There's always a couple of people that frown upon uh, castration. Um, I know I wouldn't want to have it done to me, although it might be in the cards now. <laughs> but um, uh, it is important sometimes. Our job, I explained it as best I could. We're a very good client of ours. Uh, Danny's a big owner in Enduring Strength, and he had some concerns. And I'd said to him, listen, Danny, my job is to get Enduring Strength to the races and have the best form of Enduring Strength on the track and for those of you out there that believe some way in some sadistic way I enjoy having the horses castrated I do not there's going to be a lot of studs in the burn um, but both the Angus Halls do not need to be intact both the Angus Halls do not need to be studs and both the Angus Halls will be castrated uh, starting with French Twist who is worse than Enduring Strength and by bad I don't mean they're horrible but when you start endangering our staff and I don't mean they're dangerous but squealing, biting at other horses in the burn, acting up, throwing yourself. And you've seen Enduring Strength when he goes to start out his mile, leaping and just being bad. You know, you can train that out of them, but once they get past that point where they're ornery, where they're just bad, they got a bad streak in them, that never leaves them. You have to nip that in the bud very, very quickly, or it, be, it can become a real persistent problem and one that will never go away. So um, French Twist will be gelded first of the week, I think. Uh, he may miss his next drone session, depending on when that is, when weather permitting, when Curtis can get out, I would hope next Saturday, but um, we'll see. French Twist may miss that session because he will be uh, castrated at the time. Enduring Strength will will train next week intact, um, but uh, he will need to be castrated in the near future. Uh, what else did I go with today? Enduring Strength was good. Nancy Allison was good. Um, I said, I went with five. Oh, I trained Bay Jewel. For those of you out there that are my partners in Bay Jewel, trained fantastic today. Exactly what I want to see from her. Uh, you know, I was so heartbroken last year when I saw that Philly race, and she just was not effective at all last year. A real, real loss. And, um, you know, what I saw today was the Bay Jewel of old. She was powerful today. Trained her mile and a half. Very, very strong. Very happy with what I saw in her. There's one more. One with five at the firm. Nancy Allison went. Uh, oh, my girl. Rose Run Versatile. Looked fantastic. I didn't get to go with Valiant today. I had sent a mess. So what I usually do is late, uh, later on at night, the night before, I'll send a message out to all the grooms and say, hey, these are the horses I'm going with. Um, now, George uh, doesn't have a phone, and he takes care of Rose Run Valiant. But Kirby usually lets him know. And I guess George had Rose Run Valiant jog before Kirby actually had a chance to tell him, hey, Anthony's going with that horse. Not a big deal. Track was still a little loose today. It was more than good enough to train on. 
um, but still a little loose because they had it all evened out. So uh, I didn't get to go with Valiant, but I will go with him over the next week. I trained him with the hobbles the other day. I thought he went good maybe the day before they ruined the track, um, and he looked good. So um, not the week I wanted to really uh, polish and polish and polish some of the, the eight that I talked about last week, but I did get a little bit of uh, polishing done today, and I was very happy with that. I've had a little misfortune racing. You know, I have to tell, like, Kevin, uh, Kevin was was uh, a little angry at London last night. And he, of course he is. Nobody wants to go to London and get the shit kicked out of them, or any track for that matter. We have some good horses racing right now. Some surprises. Ready for the beach. Surprise the hell out of me. Two seconds in the maidens. Fan the Flames is racing good. That's four or five seconds in a row. I said, I tweeted out there, tweet, I, I messaged out to our clients. I said, we're the luckiest unlucky people in racing. He just keeps finishing second. He's a maiden, but he's got like, I don't know, 20-some thousand made. Um, it's, it's working out really well, but whatever. Uh, and he's racing good, too. So Fan of the Flames is racing good. We took uh, Majesty Boy, if you knew Susie, and uh, uh, Art Seeker down to London last night. Wouldn't call them our, our, our first line of defense, so to speak. Majesty Boy was okay. I noticed the track was kind of icy last night. Not sure they were getting a hold of the track really well. But Majesty Boy raced okay. Threw down a third. It's tough to judge the miles in London. They don't seem fast sometimes, but it seems like the horses race good. I personally thought, aside from the time, that Majesty Boy raced okay. He could beat fair and square. I saw the horse that won the race. His lines look legit. Good qualifier, a couple of good races. Looked like a legit horse. Uh, the horse that was second... The horse that won broke my heart because it was it was prime time. Uh, prime time was if you remember, prime time was a filly we paid an exorbitant amount of money for uh, two years ago. Two years ago we sold her, and um, she bounced around, bounced around, did no good. Now she she won last night two four in London and raced well. You know, part of me was happy to see her race good because she that was the Muscle Hill filly um, that we had two years ago. Part of me wanted to see a race good. Obviously, the part that got the, uh, you know, got the, they got the shit kicked out of them on on the purchase price, was uh, a little deflated, but it was too far. Whatever. Um, and we had sold some horses. Dancing at Midland has left our stable um, for good reason. You know, it's time that these horses are just not going to be effective. You know, we work hard. I, you guys work hard for your money. I work hard for you and I work hard in, in every facet that I can our grooms work incredibly hard everybody works hard in the barn and in this and in this endeavor and for the horses that don't want to work hard we just can't shelter them we can't hide them they're going to have to go dancing at my own left art seeker he's he's thrown in his last mile bad mile for us <clears throat> what I need him to do is race good one time and we will be selling him um, just very disappointed with his overall output but that's been that's been the status quo for quite some time with um, with him. So we will have to make some adjustments, and the first adjustment will be him leaving. So dancing at Minden left, Art Seekers on the on the chopping block, so to speak. I mean, these are horses that'll do somebody some good. They're just not going to do us very much good, um, you know. And I'll, I'll I'll continue to protect the horses that want to go. You know, some people are saying I'll oh, curious winner. I can't protect Curious Winner, but for the love of God, you know, there's a horse that we had a bad attitude last year. I just trained him. I thought he trained pretty good. Two four and a piece, but he was wrapped up. Maxwell Plum was behind me, and obviously Maxwell Plum wasn't, that was a, a good stretching point for him, so I was just sitting there waiting for him to come to me, um, but Curious Winner was well in hand. I was happy. You know, do I think he's going to be the, a square-gated trotter that never makes breaks? No, but I'm hoping next Saturday at Flamborough he'll go out and race well. I was happy with what I saw. Horse that trained incredible. Oh, I forgot. Horse that trained incredibly well this week was Too Far Gone. Too Far Gone schooled fantastic. Uh, fantastic the other day. Who else did we go with? Um, too Far Gone schooled. Uh, geez, I feel bad. We qualified some horses. I thought they all went well. Um, holding steady, maybe he have a little. He was a little weaker than I thought he'd be. Um, but he's coming. He's coming. We'll get him on track. Uh, just trying to find a class for him. Who the hell do we qualify? Qualified really well. I was really impressed with them. Um, ah, it'll come to me. Anyway, we'll we'll get to that when we get to the burns. But um, 
you know, just a little bit of a stressful week with the track, uh, with the track being the way it was, but it's fixed now. And I think we got a good handle on it. So that's good. Um, we're racing our horses. Some of them are racing good. Some of them are racing a little flat. Uh, the ones that are racing bad and continue to race bad, we'll move them. Um, as we make room for the horses that are coming back, white tiger arrived to this week, arrived to Harry's barn cruising in style, arrived to Kevin's barn this week. Um, a lot of the bigger, higher horses are coming back good. Stonebridge Simba looks good on the track. A lot to look forward to. This is a time of year when we race the horses where we had a lot of questions. You know, would they mature into nice horses? Would they not? For a horse like... Uh, for a horse like... Uh, Art Seeker and uh, Dancing at Midland, I guess the answer was no. But for a horse like Too Far Gone, she looked incredible the other day. I was really, really impressed with her. So we got a lot going on in the barn, a lot to talk about this week. Some good, some bad. Um, nothing nothing horrible. Um, obviously, uh, I'm trying to get back into the swing of things after a whirlwind a whirlwind Christmas holiday season and then Adeline arriving and Amy, uh, you know, Amy's at back up and uh, up and running and feels great. Um, still not allowed to, at the barn, but um, that's probably good. She's got to take some time to... Uh, you know, to get her bearings now too. Give us some time to catch up on the book work. Um, some of you have noticed some of the changes we made with um, with the books this week. So that's good. Uh, again, we're going to continue to make these changes and continue to, to automate and upgrade and update what we've done so far to make it uh, try to stay ahead of the curve that we're setting, so to speak. Um, just a lot. A lot going on. So anyway... That's the opening. Uh, not nothing tremendous to talk about. Just really, um, you know, bringing everybody up to speed on what our week was like. Um, a lot of peaks and valleys this week, whether it be the track or racing. A lot going on. A lot to talk about. We'll get into the babies. We'll get into the racehorses, and we will keep it going here in just a moment. Be right back. <laughs> 